I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. What exactly? Oh, this! <gasps> the church! I knew it was evil! I have no idea why this isn't at the bottom. Maybe because it looked- Not that I need- It's the brochure that priest gave me at the funeral. There's also an address at the bottom. Huh. Um, I think we're gonna have to visit them today. Let's just make you realize that re real quick. Wow, the church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights. I might have to visit them after all. I gotta get my god on. Oh, hello there, Mildred. Hi yourself, Agatha. What? How'd you- Oh, never mind. I know your social security number too. Oh, God. Soon you'll start stealing my clothes and then walk around and then pretending to be me. Who says I haven't done that already? Okay, I admit, that's pretty funny. You're scary. So, anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill out -y. It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why'd you want to steal his password? It's a long story. Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will of the wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now, that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. Isn't it your Christian duty to consider people like her to be heathens? Oh, I doubt she could ever be more of a heathen than you are. Huh. I guess you've got a point. So, anyway, is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. <laughs> I meant with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken? Sounds good. I know exactly where to start. Oh, and yeah, feel free to keep using my computer. I don't need it right now. Alright, I think I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to motivate Erica Wade to talk to me. Okie dokie. Hmm, how are we gonna do that? It's just Eileen. It's just Eileen? That's so insulting. She's awesome. Hey, E, got a sec? Sure thing, Kathy. What's up? Any ideas about what happened to my grandfather in 81? Beats me. Maybe he found what he was looking for. Or it found him. Did you just quote a tagline from one of those cheesy horror novels? Maybe. Maybe. I wonder what was so special about Lily Myers. Well, besides her being a talented artist who drowned herself in a lake. I bet there's some secret about her art. Let's hope Charles Wade has some answers. What do you think of this cocky person? Well, uh, the nickname makes me think of, uh, you know, boy parts. <laughs> and you call yourself a Christian. For shame. Any ideas how to get in touch with Charles Wade? His daughter is probably our best shot. There must be some way to get her on our side. Yeah. Either by convincing her or tricking her somehow. What do you think of Lily Meyer's art? I actually looked her up this morning, and I couldn't find any records of her being recognized as an artist. Yeah. I doubt there was ever a chance for that to happen. Wade bought everything shortly after she died. I only got a chance to see this one picture. It wasn't all that bad, but nothing breathtaking. Well, maybe there's more to her art than meets the eye. Something Wade knew, and we're missing. Yeah, maybe. Well, the picture did have a forest in the background and some really strange light going on. So, yeah. What's your opinion on the Church of the Holy Trinity? They seem like an okay bunch to me. Just your regular old Christians. My kind of crowd. That's just it. They seem a bit too normal. And there's that logo, too. It could just be a coincidence, Kathy. The Holy Trinity is typically portrayed as a triangle. I don't believe in coincidences, E. 
I believe in action and reaction. Gee, you sound like a starship captain. Captain Rain of the USS Dignity, here to save the galaxy. Oh, please kill me now. I personally think they're gonna be cannibals or something. This is always the case. I should get back to the investigation. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we just have to visit them. Nah, I have nowhere I need to go right now. I do. I want to go to the church. Oddly. Go! Nah, I have nowhere I need to go right now. Why? You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. Sure, I could just leave a message for that harpy, but I doubt anything I will say will change her mind about helping me. I think I need a more indirect approach. Maybe there's a way to get creative with that answering machine tape. Huh. I do have some tapes on me. Where's that answering machine? That company. No. Oh, look at this. Remove the tape, yeah. And I'm gonna put the answering machine tape on the response. Maybe. Will that work? That action doesn't seem productive. I could just leave a message for that harpy, but I, I think I need a more indirect approach. Maybe there's a way to get creative with that answering machine tape. Hmm. I need to record some, uh, some things. But how? Do I have a microphone or do I have something that I could use with the voice software? Hey, E, got a sec? Sure thing. I don't need to show her that. I don't need to. Sh I don't need to. Sh what do you think about this flower? It's beautiful. What kind of flower is it? No idea. That's what I'm trying to find out. I got a botany book around here somewhere. I could look it up later. Sure, that would be great, E. Thanks. Anytime. How about we do it now? Why not now? No point. I should. I don't need to show. Dave really came through for me. The software on this thing is amazing. Yeah, he's a real whiz. I found this old picture of Grandpa at my grandparents' place. That's nice. He looks really happy there. Yep, I wonder what made him leave the Air Force. He was in a war, you know? That kind of thing tends to scar people for life. I suppose. Trust me, I've tried. He is the epitome of purity. No tobacco, no fast food, no alcohol. She basically rejects everything awesome. That's because she is pretty awesome herself. Look what I got last week, E. Wow, is, is that thing even, you know, legal? I have no idea. Sometimes I really worry about you, Kathy. Well, your days of worrying are over. We're protected by a hundred thousand volts now. Oh, bro. I should get back to the investigation. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We need to do something with the voice. Scanner. This computer printer. Hmm. I need to get some audio files for the voice forge. But how? I don't see how those things work together. I don't see how... So since we can't go anywhere right now, I imagine we have to use the voice modulator software that we have on our computer and make some sort of uh, a fake voice so we can convince Erica Wade that we're, uh, we're legit and we legit want to talk to her father. I'm guessing that the answering machine tape does contain her father's voice, so maybe we can use that? Oh, Erica just had her first born. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Erica? So that uh, must yes. be his daughter. I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. 
Oh, that's and it. What about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. She definitely wants to go see the baby. But he does say Erica, which I maybe can like edit together. Would you like to come and visit? I need to get that, but how do I edit things? How do I get that tape transcript and stuff? Eileen, do you have any idea? Hey, E, got a sec? Sure thing, Kathy. What's up? Um, we can talk to you. I always forget that I can talk to her about my things in the inventory as well. Maybe that'll help. I already showed her that. Fine. I already talked to her. I already talked to her. I don't need to show. I don't need to. Show I don't need her. to show. I already showed. Um, okay. Have a look at this brochure. Eh? Yeah, what about it? Doesn't that logo look a lot like the three lights in the forest? Wow, yeah, you're right. You should go pay the church a visit. That's the plan. Gonna do that tomorrow. I don't need to sh Trust me, I've tried. She basically rejects- Liquid I- Wow, I have some- Well, oh. I don't need to show- I should get back to the- Okie dokie. I'm kind of uh, confused right now. Time to inspect everything. Yay. Hmm. Hmm. Don't even think about it. Damn it. What? You already forgot how we almost got evicted last time? Oh yeah, that was pretty funny. You have the weirdest sense of humor of anyone I know, Kathy. I know. It's awesome, isn't it? Oh, I feel like I'm missing something and I don't know where it is. But it has to be in this room, right? Eileen, what are you hiding? Can I... I think I need a more indirect approach. Maybe there's a way to get creative with that answering machine tape. Yeah, I get it. I have to do something with the answering machine tape. But how? How do I get it digital for the VoiceForge software? I don't understand. I don't see how... Whoa. Did she put the tape in the scanner? That's not how scanning tapes works. I was... Oh! I was looking for, like, impossible ways of m making tapes be recorded digitally. And, oh, you've got to be kidding. Stop vibrating, phone. You've got to be kidding me. This is not... Oh, this is not how tape scanning works. Let me, let, let me guess. This is going to work perfectly, isn't it? We scanned a tape, and we got the... <laughs> we got the audio file. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's a pretty impressive scanner. Found five distinct voices. Okay. After the beep. I want the next ones. Yeah, voice two. Call Charles. Come Erica, father, firstborn. Okay. That's uh that's a lot of text. So we basically have to make a message that tells Erica that we're okay to visit. So, do we have a hi, so we can be nice or something? Or just Erica? Erica. Okay, after much, 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 much playing around, I think this is gonna work. It's father, call Kathy Rain. I think this is enough. Hopefully. Export. Almost. Just a few more tweaks. More tweaks? That should work. Oh, hello Erica, it's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants, bye. Oh, well, thank you, Kathy, for f <laughs> filling it in. Successfully exported. Alright, the forged message should now be at the end of the original tape. Cool. So can, can we listen to it? And do I just play from the dictaphone? Probably. 
I just want to listen to it. There we go. Can we now listen to it? Not right now. I have the forged message ready for playback. Well, fair enough. Let's do this. Phone. This your fooler. You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. That combination makes no sense. Um, you, you, oh. What? The tape is inside. Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. Now that was some amazing voice, uh, voice stitching together. That's a good program. You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. Hi, Erica. This is Kathy Rain. I spoke to your father. He asked me to get in touch with you and said he would call ahead. You can reach me at 555-8352. Bye. Your move, Erica. Your move. Now that's some out-of-the-box thinking. Yep, just might be silly enough to work. Well, time for a break. Gotta eat something before I pass out. Okie dokie. I'll stay here and keep digging. All right, see you in a bit. Hey. 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 So, any progress with the search? Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. It's called the Red Scythe, or Rosia falcus. I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in 89. The Red Scythe is on their list of endangered plants. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's something. I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. And, uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help! So, what... Oh, hang on. I'll go get that. Okie dokie! Hello? This is Erica Wade calling for Kathy Rain. Speaking? Miss Rain, uh, this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. <laughs> Rub it in. No. I accept her apology because uh, we, we technically didn't do the most correct thing ever. Apology accepted. You can start by answering a few questions. Very well. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? Not really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed father. It did? Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. But in the end, it never happened. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pod. <laughs> Always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became the uncle I never had. He was around a lot when Father went out on business trips. Later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Oh, no matter, you were so little then. Erica, I have to ask, why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when I tried to reach out? Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with Father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Father just couldn't bear seeing him like that. Neither alive nor dead. What do you know about Lily Myers? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. But other than that, not much. We never knew the family. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. 
father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by that name. What can you tell me about Mr. Wade? My father is a great man. He has so many ideas, so much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? The illness and everything, of course. Right. Yeah, it must be hard. Oh, yes, indeed. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. Oh. The community clinic in the middle of town? We have to go there. Yes. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. I couldn't understand why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that, or... Oh, he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Can I get them? I really need them, because there's alien activity in them, probably. Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. They seem like a typical church to me. Yeah, very suspicious typical church. Okay, that's all I needed. Very well. Feel free to call back if you have any more questions. Alright. Wade is in Conwell Springs. He's being treated in the clinic. Awesome. So he was pretty close. That was Erica Wade. Her father is being treated at the clinic in Conwell Springs. Being treated? He's sick? Looks that way. Small miracle they managed to keep it out of the press. Yeah, I suppose you are returning to talk to him? It'll have to be tomorrow. It's quite late for that now. I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're so on. I will crush you. Lovely times. That night, Kathy dreams. Oh, indeed she does. Turning your pawn into a queen. Is that the plan, buddy boy? Voldemort? You know me. I'm always playing the long game, old friend. Pink Voldemort? That may be, but you're running out of pieces. First you lost your queen, then your knight. All that matters is the king. Illusional as always. The king is dead. Long live the king. Check. Good morning, sunshine. Please tell me I dreamt all those Scrabble losses last night. Three times in a row. Rub it in, why don't you? I'll just go strangle myself now. Oh, you. Don't be a sore loser. So what's the plan today? Mr. Wade is the plan. I'll head for the clinic right away. While I'm at it, I'm going to check out the church and the nature reserve. Okie dokie. What can I do to help? Why don't you continue looking into the lights? I have a feeling they're the key to solving all of this. You could also look up the history of Conwell Springs in general, see if anything unusual has been going on. I'll get right on it. Great. Thanks, E. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out the page I gave you about the red scythe. It's a pretty interesting flower. Right. Yeah. Will do. And thank you, Eileen, for dedicating 100% uh, of your time to my cause, even though you're probably busy with schoolwork and stuff, and so should I. But whatever, being a detective is way more fun. Eileen gave me this. Might contain useful information if I come across a specimen. Let's read it. It's a photocopy of a book page with information about the red scythe flower. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell, which is familiar to that of a pepper. The pollen of the plant has also been known to cause hallucinations in concentrated amounts. Native American tribes harvested and smoked the plant for that reason, but the flower never caught on as a modern recreational drug due to the difficulty of growing it. Alrighty, so we're gonna find one, eventually, and then we're gonna get high off our tits, pretty much. As, as I under understood it from the botany book.
Alrighty, let's go to the clinic. See you, Eileen. All right, I'm off. Peace out, E. Okie dokie. Good luck and see you later. You're way too nice and lovey-dovey and okie dokie. Ah, uh, you're suspicious. I don't, I don't trust people that are that positive. Oh yeah, oh wow. Nature Reserve, we have three new locations. Should I visit, visit my grandma? Yeah, why not? Might as well, she, she's all alone now. I'm, I'm all that's left, I'm all that she's got. Visit your grandparents, kids. And call your mother and father. Oh, hello, dear. Glad to see you again so soon. Hi, Grandma. I just thought I'd drop by. Sure, hon. Stay as long as you'd like. How you doing, Grandma? Everything okay? You got enough food and drink and stuff? Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Fair enough. We don't need to talk to her about church. What do you see in this picture, Grandma? I have no idea, but it's quite an eerie display. What is it? I'm trying to figure that out. I found the picture hidden in the attic. Oh, come to think of it, the trees do look similar to the ones in Conroe Woods. Yeah, it was taken somewhere in that area. I found out that the flower in the picture matches a rare local species. Aren't you clever? Do let me know if you come across anything else. Yeah, the species. Do you know anything about this flower, Grandma? I can't say that I do. I remember seeing it growing in the woods, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Okay. Well, I will be off, Grandma. I really want to know what this opens. So long, Grandma. See you tomorrow. Or today. I don't know. I might drop by like five times or something. People drop by their grandparents five, five times a day, right? It's totally normal. Alright, now we have to go to the clinic. Ah, it is not going to be easy to get in the clinic probably since we have Mr. Bum here. Oh no, it's that dude from the county jail. He's free. Yep, it's full of trash. Figure that. Mm. Good trash canning. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. For now. We're probably gonna need everything in here. Hey, Mr. Bum. It's that homeless guy who helped me distract Lenny. Hmm, distract the Lenny guy. We meet again, Mr. Homeless Guy. Homeless? That's the worst thing I ever heard of. It's totally untrue. So, what's up with the trash can? Digging for treasure? Well, uh, I'm just going through a rough patch. Of course you are. By the way, you owe me ten bucks. I do, actually. Nah, you agreed to seven. You're busting my balls here! Better get those balls checked out in this clinic, then. So cold! Like a stake through the heart! Hmm, <laughs> what do they call you, anyway? Goober. Everyone calls me Goober. Goober. Alright, I'm Kathy. Pleasure to meet you. That's a beautiful name, Goober. So, what's your story anyway? My story? Yeah, don't all bums have a story? For your information, this is all just a dry streak in my showbiz career. Is that so? I don't recognize you at all. I used to have more hair. That, I actually believe. Come on, man! Frankie Gold is my stage name. Surely you must have heard of me? Not really, no. Oh, come on. I have starred in dozens of Hollywood movies. The Silence of the Lambert? Jacob's Bladder? Were they pornos? Usual surprises? Natural bald killers? So, pornos. Not ringing any bells. Kids these days, no appreciation for quality cinema. Breaks my heart. Yeah, kids these days. So, tell me about this acting career of yours. What about it? Tell me about the silence of Lambert. Lawrence Lambert, a real estate agent, suddenly turns mute overnight. For weeks, he tries to communicate with customers using a self-invented sign language, only to realize that true love needs no communication at all. Of course it does. He marries his housekeeper, who only knows two words in English, yes and <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> in the end, Lawrence <laughs> dies of a heart attack in the arms of his lovely wife, Consuelo Lambert Vasquez. 
based on a true story. Oh, what a sad, 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 sad story. I'm not sure I want to know what Jacob's Bladder is about, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Jacob's Bladder. The tragic story of Jacob Cobb, a schizophrenic man who forms an imaginary romantic relationship with his bladder. During long and joyful monologues on the can, he starts referring to his nether regions by the name of Jenny. Sadly, before Jacob has a chance to elope with his sweetheart, he gets committed to an asylum due to increasingly erratic behavior. After a big fight with his paramour, Jacob refuses to pee for a week, and he dies from a ruptured bladder. Sounds like an Adam Sandler movie. Give me the rundown on the usual surprises. A lighthearted comedy taking place during the surprise birthday party of 34-year-old Sid McBacon. The story is told from eight different perspectives to keep the audience guessing who the protagonist actually is. The movie ends with the biggest surprise of them all. Sid suddenly dies of an epileptic seizure. I guess it's more of a dark comedy. I guess that was the surprise. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I have to say they're pretty, they're pretty good. I would watch them. Natural bald killers? It's a dystopian vision of the future where people are valued by the quality of their hair. The protagonist, Eddie Zephyr, turns bald in high school. One day, he has simply had enough of all the teasing and the bullying and he completely snaps and heads out on a scalping spree in search of the perfect head of hair. Eddie makes his way to Mexico for an illegal hair transplant. However, he has an adverse reaction to the anesthesia and he dies on the operating table. They're so sad, but oddly captivating. Oh, never mind. Not the cultured type. I understand. Yeah, I'm, I'm not as refined as you, ma'am. I need to ask you a few questions. Sounds serious. Ask away. Sounds serious. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I most certainly do. What? Tell me. Tell me. Are you sure you want to know? Not everyone can handle the truth. Sure. Oh, just spit it out. Just say it. Aliens. Okay, here we go. Ready? Aliens. Abducted by aliens. I knew it. <laughs> uh, I should have known better. Oh, I saw it, man. A big, huge light. I was a bit drunk at the time, but I had my reasons. My wife had just left me, taking the dog, not to mention I was being conscripted for the war. But I'm telling you, those goddamn aliens took him, and they experimented on him. And that's why he was so messed up when they put him back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Open your mind, man! Hey, for, for all we know, he might be, like, completely uh, right on this. <laughs> so, yeah, d don't dismiss the crazies, man. Do you know who Lily Myers was? Yep, my dad was the one who found her floating in the lake. Really? What can you tell me about her? Ah, uh, geez, not a lot. I mean, teenage girls, man, they're like their own species. Impossible to figure out. Not to mention how that entire family ain't, like, people-friendly. Now that's an understatement. Nearly started brawling with Sue the first time I met her. <sighs> she could sure deal out a mean whoop in that lady. Yeah, but she's nice enough once she's had her uh, nicotine. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? Why, I used to call myself that back in Nam. What? Oh, how I miss that marvelous youthful ego of mine. Ugh, why do I even bother? Do you know who Charles Wade is? Sure, he's been holed up in this clinic for the last couple of weeks. You saw Charles Wade go in there? Well, yeah, I just told you, man. How did he look? Okay, I guess. Still walking, at least. Well, that's progress. You know a lot. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Nothing but hearsay. People say it was pretty deranged. What's your opinion on the Church of the Holy Trinity? I'd say they're good people. Isaac the priest is, anyway. Yeah. His dad, Father Bill, on the other hand, though, he and the people he had around him were into some weird shit. I knew it. What kind of weird shit? I don't know, uh, they were like a cult or something, with Billy Praise himself at the top. Yes. Really shifty bunch of folks. Isaac turned it all around when his dad kicked the bucket, made it a proper church. Interesting. Do you know anyone else who was involved in the old church? Not really, I tried to stay as far away from those people as possible. Ask Isaac about it, he's a friendly guy. Alright, 
I might do that. Or he just looks like a friendly guy. Because he's secretly following in his father's footsteps of, uh, I don't know, satanic cult or something. And he just needs this friendly facade. You know, to keep the business going. They need, they need the money. Nothing in this world is free. Especially virgins and their blood. I had a few more questions. Fire away! Fire away. Do you recognize these men? That's your granddad, right? Yeah. What about the other two? No idea. I think my face blindness is acting up again. Your face okay. blindness. Do you know what this opens? Do you know what this key opens? Your heart, mademoiselle? Oh, oh you got brother. it. Oh, man. Oh, go oh golly. You, you, you nailed it, man. Do you know what this is? Chinese fireworks, of course. I grew up in Shanghai. I know what I'm talking about. They used to call me Dunk Pai, meaning round-eyed baldy. <laughs> round-eyed baldy? <laughs> I miss the food, not to mention the women. Got two kids down there now, Mei Lin and Little Ping. Time to hit the off switch now, buddy. Yep. I think, uh, I think you got too excited from talking to me. All the memories are just pouring out like a cascade. Do you know anything about this flower? It's red? <sighs> Excellent. Enlightening. All right, buddy old pal, I think we've had a, a long enough chat. Thanks for the help. Okay, that's enough serious questions for now. All righty. All righty. I get the feeling that I'm gonna have to employ your uh, sh showbiz acting abilities. Okay, I'm off. Bye. Bye.